What's up guys, I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. A place where if you believe a plastic bag floating in the wind is art, get out, just get out. All right guys, on this episode, we are gonna be laser cutting and engraving on acrylic. Why? Because you asked me to. <laughs> wow, that really stinks, I can smell the acrylic too. I do not like the smell of acrylic when it's being cut. It stinks, it's nasty, and it makes me wanna go Bleh! So I've avoided it up until now. But you know what, you guys keep asking, and you know I'm gonna do it for you. So let's see what we got in the box. What's in the box? All right, all of this acrylic is three millimeter. It's all apparently bubble wrapped. <laughs> what do we got? We have, ooh, fancy. So this is some kind of shimmery, glittery red stuff. Schmancy. Yeah, that's funny, it comes with a warning, like be careful, this stuff stinks. So the precautions I take since I don't have any sort of enclosure, all right, that is black acrylic. Is, is once I get the laser started, I usually wear a mask when I'm out here, and then I kind of step away from the laser and let it do its thing. Um, and I just come out here and check on it every once in a while, so. To, so as to not burn the joint down, if you know what I'm saying. So I figured I would take you through my process in green. Look at that obnoxious green. It's green, kids. Green screen. Green screen me. <laughs> Since I don't normally work with this material, I wanted to take you through my process on how I figure out how to work with said material. First things first, here's what I do. I'm gonna grab green and make sure most acrylic comes with like a coating on top. Sometimes you can't see it. And, yeah. You wanna peel this off first. It's really satisfying if you get a big piece. Oh yeah, there we go. Watch that. Oh, ASMR. ASMR BDB. So here we go. We'll pop it in the old laser machine. Next up, I grab this. What is this? This is the guide on Xtool's website for their material report list. And it tells you, uh, it gives you basic settings. Now, say that it's always still only basic settings, right? Because like other things play in, temperature in the shop, how much humidity is in the air. So use these as a jumping off point. So what I'm gonna do is try their settings first and see if they work. If not, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start doing some test burns and whatnot. And so this just has semi-clear acrylic, black acrylic, and yellow acrylic on it. I am going to assume that, is that, how many millimeters is that? Yeah, it's all three millimeter. So this has a thickness guide on it too. I'm gonna use, I think, yeah, it looks about the same. Uh, I'm gonna use the settings for three millimeter black acrylic. It's gonna bring our laser over here. Actually, it's probably, I was working with three mil material, so that should be right, but just in case. The settings in the X-Tool material report list say to do this at 100 power, three millimeters per second, two passes. I will also link to this materials list in the description down below. All right, run a quick frame. Looking good, fire up. Come out. And that did not work. So let's take a look at the back just to be sure. So I don't know how well you can see that, but I can just see this faint little line in there, which makes me think that maybe three passes sort of pop this out. All right. So three passes works. Let's see how we're looking here. No burning or anything. I'm not really concerned about it. Um, catching on fire. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna try a uh, a raster engrave and a cut. So just again, we wanna check our frame. Okay, I think that's focused better. Kinda of hard, I've got a little tracking thing on there. But it looks pretty good. I mean, the engrave is 
tiny because I don't want to take up too much space, but um, pretty clear from where I'm standing. Look at that. Look at that new logo. Sweet. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to something a little bit more complicated. Since St. Patty's Day is coming up, I figured I would stop real quick and let you know that if it is still before St. Patrick's Day, which I can't remember when it actually is, I think it's the 21st this year maybe, um, X Tool is running a huge sale right now um, and just too many different things to go over in just the video. So I'll put a link down below, follow that link, check out their sales. There's a bunch of deep discounts. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a Celtic knot. So uh, roll that beautiful laser bean footage. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> Okay, it is the next day. I spent most of the night last night uh, cutting these out and failing miserably to a certain degree. Uh, uh, most of it was user error though. So I wanted to go over a couple of the things that I messed up. The first thing is when you're cutting acrylic, I don't know if I have a good example. Uh, uh, this one obviously didn't cut all the way through. But when you're cutting acrylic, the heat of the laser can cause it to kind of curl up on the edge. And what had happened was this curled up and it caught my air assist and just snapped it right off. So I just had kind of stepped out for a few minutes, came back and found my whole piece had shifted over and all that stuff. This is something more that I see very commonly uh, where people are like, I don't know what happened. More than likely if you have this shift and it looks like you're, uh, your material has shifted, the drag chain or something on the laser has caught onto your material and moved it and put you in a precarious situation. So just keep that in mind. We learn from our mistakes, right? So make sure that you secure your piece. Uh, what I use a lot of time are these really flat magnets, like that's three of them. So I only, I, I use whatever material I need. Nice. So these guys are really thin, so a lot of times they'll, the laser will pass over them and then I stack them as needed uh, for whatever material I'm using. I, I can link these in the bio down below. These are pretty handy. So thing two of thing one and thing two that may happen to you while you're cutting acrylic is, acrylic is brittle, so you need to be careful. And I was in the process of trying to uh, get some of these middle pieces out and I pushed too hard and I snapped this piece off. Now, I had the time and the material, so I did go ahead and recut it, but since what, this is one of the deeper layers, you could definitely glue this up and you probably wouldn't even see, the, see where it was broken. Okay, so in order to glue this up, I went ahead and cut two panels like this. These are, so the, the actual mandala is 140 millimeters. So these are 141 millimeters. I'm gonna be using Starbond medium CA glue um, and a little accelerator. Actually, probably not accelerator right now, uh, but Starbond uh, for these projects, a good CA glue is always the best bet. And I happen to be an affiliate with Starbond and I can get you 15% off your order. So if you need CA glue, if you don't have CA glue in your shop, you need CA glue. Follow the link in my description and um, save you some money. Okay, so we're gonna push this down. Okay, and just using a little rubbing alcohol to clean these off, just so we get a good adhesion. Adhesion, kids, that's your word for the day. Adhesion. Put a jig on. Get that off. Pop this guy out. Yeah, that's wrong. That shit. Okay, so I accidentally put the glue on the wrong side of this. I've been dying to try this stuff. It's a debonder, 
by Starbond and it's supposed to take the glue off. So let's see how it does. Oh wow, that really works. That works, man, look at that. I don't know how well you can tell because it's black, but see all that white? That's all where the glue was, but the black is where it's taking it off there. So let's see the rest of this. So the jig's not wanting to behave, and I think I know why. When I cut the second one, I did not. So I cut the first one at 141 millimeters. I cut the second one at 140. So it's so tight on this thing that I can't get it to stay. So we're using the old tried and true, hold it with your fingers method. <laughs> Don't have CA glue all over your fingers when you're, after you get done with doing one of these. You're not doing it right. Or you're doing it way better than I am. While we're doing this last, bit of gluing up. I would just like to say thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. It is mucho appreciado. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm getting very close to 100,000 subs and that would just be an awesome mile marker to hit. I would like to say an extra special thanks to all of my patrons. These guys right here, they're the ones that keep me knee deep in CA glue, right? All right, especially my top tier or boiler maker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Jim Carter, Andy the Viking, Dwight Smith, Christopher Walters, Todd Stewart, and Franklin the Tanklin. I think Franklin the Tanklin has just joined up. So let's say hi, shall we? Hello, Franklin the Tanklin. I would clinkies you, but it's like 11 in the morning. All right, so this guy's had enough time to dry now, so I figured we'd just check it out. What do you think? I dig it. I think this piece right here is backwards. <laughs> I think I put that in there the wrong way because those are the only two that cross the wrong way. But other than that, the depth is awesome. I think it looks really cool. Kind of almost would have liked to have had like another color green in there maybe. Now you guys didn't think I wouldn't start to check out the sparkly red stuff, did ya? Check her out. So the only difference with this was I did run four passes with the cut and I think that's only due to the fact that this is a little transparent, like you can see through it a little bit. So I think you just need to get one more to get that solid cut on there. Oh, looks good. Check that business out. See, you can see through it. Nice, nice, nice. All right guys, thanks for taking this trip to Acrylicville with me. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work. What's up guys, I'm Nick. I am Nick. I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build, and she's dead, wrapped in plastic. Step on this frog. Oh, I think I stepped on him.